Hello and welcome to an Adobe Illustrator lesson I call Clipping Mask and we are going to use that to make uh, some cool animated eyes. Before we start let's make sure a few things are set up properly. You want to check to see that you have view show grid. It says hide grid because mine's already showing and you also want to go view and smart guides make sure they're turned off and there's no check mark I've already got mine turned off. Now the objectives of this lesson are to uh, show you how to uh, do gradient colors, review both stroke and fill colors, add some brushes, uh, change the opacity of something, use the white arrow tool for point manipulation um, by changing the handles and as well uh, converting the anchor points to corners and of course the ellipse tool to start off making our eye. So let's get started. Underneath the rectangle tool you will find the ellipse tool. So you have to click and hold. You'll notice all of these have little triangles down on the corner here. If you click and hold you get options under them. So we're going to use the ellipse tool. I'm going to start like that. Then I'm going to grab the white arrow tool drag over the end point and now you notice that all these changed when I grab the one point and again review you can tell that this one is selected because it's just blue it's filled whereas the other ones are white but I'm gonna go up here on the left on the properties and change it to a corner and I'm gonna do the same thing there and I change that to a corner so we'll just save this and put it over here and I'm just going to go control C and control V to copy and paste to make a second one. Then I'm going to grab my white arrow tool and I take this handle and I'm going to kind of drag it in. And then I'll take this handle and maybe shorten that and angle that out. So if I wanted to make a slightly different shape of my eye, then I could grab this point and drag it down and maybe that point and drag it up. So there's a different shaped eye if you want. So we could use either of those. So we'll save that for a little bit later. And I'm going to go back to my ellipse tool. Now I'm going to make the iris of the eye. So I'm going to hold down the shift key to get a perfectly circled iris. And I'm going to do it again for the pupil. And I'm going to choose this color. Uh, again it's on the line color so I gotta switch it and I'm gonna make it black inside this color I'll go to my swatches and I will try and let's go for a really blue eye then I'm gonna try on this iris to change the brushes up so I'm gonna go to the brushes panel which is on the same set as the swatches and go to brushes and I'm gonna go to artistic and scroll pen and I'm gonna grab this guy. Now it looks ridiculous because it's too wide so I'll move over on the right to our stroke and I set it down to like a 0.25. That looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna take this pupil and I'm gonna go control C and control V and I'm gonna fill it with nothing and I'm gonna grab that and change that stroke color to a light gray. And then again I'm going to go back to the brushes and I'm going to go artistic and ink and try something like that. There, maybe that one and I'll drag that and put that on there because that gives kind of speckles in the eye right and you could play with that for a while and find one that's a little better this guy I'm going to arrange and bring to front so I got my pupil in the middle just using my arrow key and now let's grab one more ellipse tool And this one I'm going to go with a white fill and no stroke. 
I'm going to put it here and make it smaller. And then I'm going to move over onto the right to the transparency and I'm going to send that way down. And then it looks like you've just got kind of a little reflection in the eye. Now, when you're done all of that, you're going to highlight it all. And I'm going to group it. Control G. So now the iris moves as one. And we would like the iris to be a little bit bigger than the eye, than the cornea of the eye. So I'm going to make one for each of these. I'm going to go Control C and Control V and V again, just to have an extra one sitting on the side. Then both of these, I'm going to put a brush on. And I'm going to use one of the default brushes. I often use this one right here. It's a charcoal pencil. And probably a bit thick, so I'll move that down to a 0.5. And then I'm going to copy and paste both of these as well. I just selected them all with a black arrow tool. Just drag over, Control C and Control V. And I'll move it off to the side. Then what I have to do is I have to take clipping masks only work with two objects. Now this iris, which is actually made of three parts, the little granule speckles, the iris and the pupil, four, sorry, four pieces, and the little glint in the eye. But it, can, it is considered as one now because we've grouped them. So then you take one copy of the eye and you sit it right on top where you think it should go. And you select both by dragging over with the black arrow tool. And you go Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. Now, that makes the mask, which was sitting on top, disappear. So now then I take this. And now you see why I brought an extra. And there you've got a pretty nice looking eye. And I'll group this again by selecting both of them and go Control G. Then I'll take this one, see which one I like the best. Place it where I want it. And I go Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Then I'll take this and sit that on the bottom. And Control G. And now we can start doing a couple other things to add. And we're going to add some symbols. And we're going to go down here to hair and fur. And we can use one of these for an eyelash. So I'll just grab maybe this guy. And he's going to be really small. And notice with the black arrow tool, if you're on the corner, that's for resizing. But if you move away from the corner, you can rotate. Now this guy is folded the wrong way. So I'm going to flip, drag it across. And there we have an eyelash, but it's way too big. Now, this is going to take a while, so we'll just go Control C and V. Grab both of them, Control C and V. Control C and V. And then you can grab more of them at once. Control C and V. Control C and V again.
And then I can grab a pen tool and I can click, drag, and click. I can fill it with nothing and I can use a brush for an eyebrow. Probably go to artistic and charcoal pencil would probably be the best. And you can try something. This might work even though it looks terrible now. There's a 0.25. Anyways, you can play around with that. Now, from here, I could group all these pieces, go control C and control V. Probably group it, control G, and then flip it across. And you can always make sure it's the same width. Or you could do that free transform tool. And then of course I can do it uh, same thing on the other eyes and then you could choose which is the best but there you have using the clipping mask uh, using the white arrow tool the ellipse tool some brushes that can be found again here uh, on the same pattern as the swatches anytime you screw up these panels and accidentally close them all you got to do is go to window workspace and basic and it always set it back to the way it was so that is how you make some cool looking eyes in Adobe Illustrator CS3.